Okay, I wanted to do this one <clears throat> because uh, sometimes, you know, we're, we're really afraid of fractions and I wanted to refresh your memory on how to solve equations, especially ones that had fractions in denominators. Uh, so let's go through this one. We have to solve this linear equation and if you don't want to work with the fractions, which you probably don't want to, um, not very many of us like them, I myself included, um, we can go through and we can actually eliminate the fractions before we begin solving. And the way that you do that is that we need to multiply by the least common denominator. So the least common denominator in this case would be 20. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to multiply every single term by 20. So I'm going to write this out first. I'm just going to go ahead and write out the, um, the original problem, but I'm going to leave some space in between each one of those terms. So can you see that I'm just, I, I'm just, just rewrote it, but I'm just leaving some space. Now, on every single one of them though, I'm going to multiply through by that common denominator which was a 20. So I'm going to go back and write in my 20. Okay, now when we do this, we can eliminate the denominators because 4 goes into 20 five times. So now we're left with 5 times y plus 1 and no more denominator. In the second term, 10 will go into 20 two times. So now we're left with plus 2 times y minus 2 and no more denominator. Equals 20 goes into 20 one time. Now you can either write it out as 1 times y plus 7, which I think I probably will just for um, understanding sake. So that would be 1 times y plus 7. Now once you get good at it, you won't have to write that, but now we have no more fraction to worry about and we can continue solving this equation using our normal steps. You remember the first step said to do all distribution. So if you've forgotten about the distributive property, that means that we have to multiply to more than one item in the parentheses. So we have to literally distribute or you know make that multiplication to each one of those terms in the parentheses. So I'm going to distribute uh, the 5 and the 2, and then I'm also going to distribute the 1. So when we do that, now we have 5 times y is 5y. 5 times a positive 1 would be a positive 5. Now we've got a positive 2 times y, which would be a positive 2y. And a positive 2 times a negative 2 would be negative 4. Equals 1 times y would be y and 1 times a positive 7 would be a positive 7. Now continuing on with our steps, we need to collect like terms on the same side of the equal sign. So the 5y and the 2y can combine to give us 7y. My, uh, 5 and a negative 4 would combine to give us a positive 1 equals y plus 7. Now we have all of our, simple, our com combinations done. Um, now we need to actually move uh, this y so that it's with the other y, it's with its like term. And we're going to do that by doing the opposite of a positive y, which would be a negative y. So we're going to subtract y from both sides to get 7y minus y is 6y plus 1 equals 7. And now we need to combine the plain numbers, but I'm going to have to move this. So I do the opposite of a positive 1, which is a negative 1. And now then we have 6y equals 6. And when we divide both sides by 6 to get, because the opposite of multiplying by 6 is to divide by 6, right? So now we have y equals 1 as our solution. And if you go back and plug that in place for y, it will work in the equation.